Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Soul of Books podcast. I have now a place for all the book lovers out there. I hope you guys are having a great day. And let's get started. Today we'll be talking about the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. I'm really excited for today's podcast because Six of Crows is one of my favorite books of all time. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get straight into it. Six of Crows is part of the Grisha World series but can be read as a standalone duology. Ketterdam is a city of slums and crime lords, a bustling hub of international trade where anything can be had for the right price. And no one knows better than the criminal prodigy Kaz Brecker. In the story, there is presence of Grisha. If you're wondering who Grishas are, Grishas are humans who practice the small signs. Grisha sees their powers as extensions of the natural world, which is why they don't call their power magic, but instead small signs. For example, an inferni cannot produce fire but can manipulate it. Duists do not create metal but they can simply alter it. A new drug called Jura Param causes the already magical Grisha to amplify their powers. Now it's dangerous for the Grisha, the addictive powers of the drug can kill, it's dangerous for the society. The Grisha's power could topple whole governments. The only maker of Judah Param is rotting in a prison in the frigid and militarily powerful country of Fierda in a virtually impenetrable stronghold called the Ice Court. This isn't a job for trained soldiers and spies, it's a job for thugs and thieves. Kasbrecker, an infamous thief also known as Dirty Hands, is promised a very large sum of money to kidnap the scientist from the Ice Court. He is assigned this job by Van Eck. This heist could make him rich beyond his wildest dreams, but he can't pull it off alone. The Ice Court is the most highly protected place in Fierda, which is the enemy land, and Kaz won't be able to gate crash it alone. He needs a team for the heist. He recruits Inage. Inage is known for her ability to climb buildings and move across impossible terrain with extreme agility. Next, Kaz recruits Jesper Fahe. He is a crew's sharpshooter. Jesper is a lighthearted and sarcastic character. He enjoys gambling a bit more than his shit. Then, he recruits Nina, who is the only Grisha on the crew. She is stuck in Ketterdam and is unable to go home. She is confident and unapologetic about who she is. She is also loyal to her friends. Then, he recruits Willen, who is the son of a merchant and he serves as the brains of the operation. Willen is an intelligent engineer and inventor. He's very shy and awkward because he's been isolated for most of his life, but slowly warms to the other members of the crew. Then finally, Matthias, a former Druskel, a soldier from Fierda, he has a history with Nina as the two of them helped each other after a storm destroyed their ship. But ironically, Nina betrayed him in the past, which causes him to hate her. Now, if they want Matthias' help breaking the ice coat, they'll have to break him out of the Ketadam prison first. Six of Crows has a solid plot, great action, impressive world building, and a well-constructed heist that pays off fantastically. But it is the characters that really make this book stand out from the crowd. In the sequel called The Cricket Kingdom, you get to see more twists and schemes of the crew, you get more depth to the characters and get to know more about the characters' past. This series is a hyped one for all the right reasons, you won't ever regret reading it. If you enjoy crime and fantasy, this is a great option for you. Bardugo does a fantastic job of differentiating the characters and making them seem like real people with real pain hopes, dreams, and nightmares. Six of Crows is a fantastic book, one of the best fantasy heist books going around. It's funny, tragic, witty, murderous, thoughtful, and more all in one package. If you like Six of Crows, you should also check out The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Waiter and The Guy That Wolves by Roshani Chokshi. If you like the podcast, drop a big thumbs up and comment down your favorite book or thoughts if you're using YouTube. 
If you're listening on an audio platform like Spotify, follow and leave a message in the link I left in the description. Share it among your friends who might also like the content. If you're new here and like the content, consider following and subscribing to notify when I post new content. Follow my Instagram for more updates if you want to. All right, that's it for the week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,